here's my step eight, which is this back to the social proof. So these are testimonials. These are two, she's, this is my QVC girl, Stacey Garcia. She's a big wig, VIP. Carrie's got a book, Hero is in Heels. But I tell their stories, it's credibility. So you want other people to basically say how great you are. If that's out of your comfort zone, we need to work through that. It's called social proof. It's a thing, okay? So we need to make sure we have a juicy story and the stories take a while to perfect. You don't want to make it about you, but you want to quietly sell. You don't want it also just to be like, I have another little funny story. So this was years ago in one of my networking groups. And I know the power of testimonials, even shout outs for each other. And sometimes as an entrepreneur, you need to ask for shout outs because people aren't thinking of you. We have to ask for help. And I remember saying to this one gal, because she had worked with me and she had done really well. And I just said sort of flippantly to her because she was going to get up and do her commercial. I said, hey, would you give me a shout out? You know, how we work together. I didn't coach her on how to do the shout out, by the way. That's what we often have to do. So she gets up there and she goes, Heidi's so much fun to work with. That's not enough social proof. And that's when I learned a lesson. Sometimes we have to educate people. So social proof helps. I'm going to even give you another, I've been taking back the curtain, everybody. So even when I do a live seminar or a virtual seminar, I might ask a couple people. For example, I'm looking right now. I've got Rachel on the line, Jody. These are my gals. Because this webinar is just so fabulous, right? It's a good thing. I'm glad Ron's smiling right now. So the next time I do this, I might ask them to be part of it or to say, and, and they could say, wow, I took Heidi's seminar. Beforehand, I wasn't asking questions. I started asking questions in my seminar. I noticed a complete difference. And now I have a great offer. So social proof comes from them. But often I might have asked them, hey, Rachel, I noticed. Do you mind giving me a testimony? By the way, I'm going to do it right now. Hey, Rachel and Jody, after the seminar today, we have a private diva page, which the two of you give me a shout out and anyone else who's on my diva page that I can't see right now. Would you be willing to do that? So coach us how to do that. Okay, good. So that's exactly right. So instead of saying, Heidi, so great. So Jody and Rachel and anybody else to say, I want you to be specific about what you learn. So you might say something like this. Here, you just write it down verbatim. <laughs> and I'm, I'm having fun right now. I hope you realize. So you might say, geez, I took Heidi's webinar today on the 10 essential steps of selling you. Even though I'm out there speaking, I knew that I needed to polish my talk. Here's what I really learned. I didn't realize that I needed a success story within my talk to pull people in. Also, I realized at the end of my talk, I just said, thank you, everybody, and didn't have an offer. And lastly, I learned how to have the audience ask questions. I can't wait to use these new tools in my next seminar. That was pretty good. But what do you think? That's freaking awesome. 